Welcome to Rocky Detour, part three of the Lincoln. And on this episode, we're doing fuel pump and we're making it run. Yes, we are, and it's going to be amazing. And there's going to be lots of horsepower and lots of rust coming out of the exhaust pipes. Yes, but not a lot of, of donuts, unlike our other cars, because it's actually nice. And it doesn't like it doesn't move forward with momentum. Yeah, at all. It's very heavy. There's a lot of holes in the exhaust pipes. I do. Sounds terrible. Anyway, let's go. All right. do have to do is kind of confusing and we need to mark things down on what exactly we're gonna do. Fuel pump. We do fuel pump. Uh, what else we gotta do? Um, e -brownies. Uh, we have to eat brownies. Uh, e brownies. Uh, brownies. Brownies are important to uh, working on cars. This trophy sucks. Oh get running. Running. Get running. running. <laughs> what else? Uh, 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 cupcakes. Yep, cupcakes. Cupcakes. Well, oh, radiator. Oh, that too. Radiator. radiator. That's pretty important. Yeah, the radiator is not good. That, that, that <laughs> takes care of it. All right, let's go. Hey, we need that. All right, so I need a fuel pump because our old one doesn't work. Someone had janked in that electric one that clicks horribly. Um, now this thing just it doesn't work. If you listen to it, it, sounds like it's shot. There's a lot of rust and stuff in it, so just for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna take it apart to see what the inside looks like. Just for the heck of it. So, uh, issue number one. Uh, the fuel pump is in. Okay. Yeah. See that? The fuel pump is in. It's shiny. But, um, so here's the carburetor. Here's the outlet of the fuel pump. It needs to be redirected this way. Oh, I see. Yeah. We just need to look in the directions how to t uh, turn that, and I'm pretty sure we just take all those 200 screws out and turn it. We just need to change it directionally so that this hard line can connect directly to the uh, fuel filter. Um, because if I were to keep it like this, the fuel hose would have to go around to the distributor, into the carburetor, and that wouldn't be fun. That'd be a real pain in the butt. So, might as well just turn it. The thing we We just screw it back in and we're done. Lucas, what have we done, good sir? We have righted the wrongs of the fuel pump. Which is now on. Which is now on. Which. Just gotta hook it up. Oh, yeah, but yeah. As far as we know, it'll work. <laughs> as far as we know. Okay. Cross that off, but good, buddy. Alright. Okay. What are we do next? Pick, you know what, pick. Just, just pick one. Just pick one. Radiator. Or brownies. We need a TV in here. We got one. Well, well, grab the DVDs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's bring that down here. That'll totally work in this cold weather. Mm -hmm. It does, some, sometimes. Okay, I don't, I don't know if you can tell, because this is YouTube, but that's like a rock. Because it's good and cold. So I'm estimating, I got the radiator sitting in just about the right position, not like dead on. But I'm estimating it's going to take me about three hours to get it back in. Just of complications and all that different stuff, but it shouldn't take too long. It's pretty simple to take a radiator in and out. But if you saw the design and how everything's laid out on this car, you would be afraid to even touch it because there's, it's pretty compact. You see a big car like this and you think, oh, you know, I bet everything's easy to get to. That's a load of of, of horse hockey. If you think this is a turbo, I'm not exactly sure why you're watching this show. Duty 
piece with the fuel pump. Yep. And what do we do now, Luke? We're gonna drop the tank. Cause uh, it needs cleaned. Uh, earlier, I told Luke to sniff the tank, and he almost passed out. That was not a good life decision. That's really bad. Bad it, life. Oh, that's that smells like lacquer thinner and model paint. Model paint model like on paint. model cars. Or no, I'm sorry, model car glue and oh, that's bad. That's so bad. Yeah, you didn't expect us to use that on this episode, did you? Or anything in this car. We're gonna have to cut the straps off the fuel tank because the straps are rusted through. So we have to cut them and get new straps, which you can just get like bailing straps. And then, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those. Last night was fun. We pulled an all-nighter, working on the Lincoln, doing some gas tank issues, trying to resolve it. Resolving the fuel pump issue, now gas tank issue, never resolved it. Uh, didn't want to cut the straps, even though we were having to cut the straps. So we're just gonna wait to do that. Um, anyway, the car fired, and sounds like poop. But we're gonna have a sustained idle, like we're gonna turn it on and let it run for a while. Uh, today and see how it goes. Now we're gonna do it last night, but we just want to fire, make sure it fired, and go no further. Okay, so the reason we didn't like let it idle last night is because we didn't have new oil in it. We didn't, well, we didn't change it. Uh, the radiator didn't have any fluids in it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do all the different stuff so we can let it run and warm up, and then change the oil to let it so it like cleaned itself out, and then that should be it. Bobbing a wheelie. That's fun. Oh, now let's do real stuff. More things. Drop it down and maybe start it tonight. Who knows? Maybe not. Maybe so. We have to find out. So we're finally about to start it. We have a temporary fuel line connected to the fuel pump there. Uh, we just need to pour some gas down the carb, fill up the float bowl, and if we're lucky, it should start. Okay. The episode's over. Would you look at that? Can you believe that? Would you just look at that? That was probably like 10 minutes of your life that you did not you, waste. Yeah. No. <laughs> they enjoyed every second of it. Every single second. They loved it. So, uh, in three episodes, we have the car running and pr practically roadworthy, other than the brakes. The brakes. And whatever else we can find. Yeah, it's probably going to be one of those things you just find as you go along. But, yeah. the next episode, it will be running. I'm confident. Well, it's already running. It's already running. It should be on the road. I'm confident on that. As long as the transmission's not exploded or grenaded. Well, that's... Mm.
Each time, uh. though. <laughs> yep. Let's go eat. We didn't even get a double high five. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da. On this episode of American Detour, we do more work on the Lincoln for the third time. Yep, that's when we turn. Just kidding. What do we want those to say? Okay, so you gotta be the one right now. Nope, just kidding. Or brownies. 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 Let's do brownies. Brownies. Let's go do brownies, sir. What did I get the radiator? Well, I mean. Look at the texture. Why do they still have a GTO door in here? I'm not complaining. I don't know, that's not the 66 good.